Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Yes, yes, I did. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Hmm. Oh yeah, here. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. I we don't think he can hear you. All right, let's take him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, probably. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you here? Ben, I have some words Kenny? for you. Some very strong words. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good in the form job. of a 50-foot drop. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! We could try to get out of the city. Molly Just said suggestion. there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Being At least he's out of the house. Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not this is one of the few situations where Ben where is not entirely is. at fault. I think she's with that girl who brought her back. Molly? She said something about checking upstairs for supplies. Ben looks so sad. Are you sure Clementine's upstairs with Molly? Um, I think so. Yeah, pretty sure. Spoiler alert, she's not Clementine! upstairs. Clementine! Where are you? So many people enjoy yelling. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Not in here. Wait a second. Well, she was in here. Clem's drawings. But where wow, she? she drew that fast. And why would she draw me bearing a dog? Clementine, you hear?
Hello? Out of all the things we've done today, why a dog? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's mm -hmm. Clementine? Sure you have. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. The guys downstairs said she was up here with you. She was for a while, then she got bored and wandered off. Like I said, not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? I think she said something about going to play in the backyard. <sighs> Shit. Clementine? Clementine! Press X for Clementine. Fastest way to do it. Don't even look anything, just try to go back inside. What's behind barn door number three? Shed door, anyways. What did you find? You found a boat. This was here the whole time? I know, right? What a waste of alcohol. doing okay as well as can be expected under the circumstances I did what I could for him cleaned out the wound but he's got a real infection running a fever without antibiotics I... he got a real pacing? infection with him under nervous. under a Why day are still here hey if your friend really can get that boat working you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses I figure that's fair enough don't you well you want the good news or the bad news? Why not both? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taken us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to I'm try. I'm not saying we ask. I'm just left saying in we city take who it. Are still alive, who still have supplies. What harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst a kind. Voice. But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Didn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. 
We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know Catholic about you, school. kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing Great. something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's Most likely. Dangerous. Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. You know, we could always go back to the train. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Probably not. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, sweet pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? Absolutely. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. What harm could possibly come from this decision? Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Dips on the hatchet. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So, mm -hmm. so, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Oh, uh... That's a sign that Kenny so doesn't like you. For some reason. Who the reason. hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. We don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. You also with wanted me dead. Out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. <laughs> Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? 
If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh, good. I actually get the hatchet. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's see if I retained my Metal Gear Solid skills of stealth. Dun 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 dun. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? There sh but there isn't. Just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Can you that thing about no shooting, I meant it. That did not mean pull out a gun. Oh, those hands are not the hands of a living person right there. What the fuck? Well, Lee, I guess Get this inside, place fast. wasn't so secure after all. Honestly? Absolutely. I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. That was only so I wouldn't freak out one time. They totally you? saw us. I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. It's true. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Shut do up, Ben. Have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Should we really be following the person who wanted to kill me earlier? This. Don't go into that room. Just keep moving. Yeah, that seems like a smart idea. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in.
Uh, of course, it's locked. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Why a children's room, though? Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Of all rooms. Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Mm hmm. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? She's right. It does make sense. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No. Two people's enough. You stay here. See if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'm not gonna lie, those paper mache people are uh, giving me corpse party flashbacks. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Try to make sure Ben doesn't die horribly. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty relevant now that people are eating each other in the streets. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Yeah, good luck with that. That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, he wait. looks so sad now. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. Ben, that is the worst idea you've ever had. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to- Really horribly. Let it build up for years. Never let it out. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and ignore it. It wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose, but he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it, and then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Pamphlets, where are these for? Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution.
Alright, that's the number of knowledgeable citizens found. Number of citizens brought by, brought to Crawford. Days since outbreak. Oh, uh, initials of person conducting search, my bad. 71 OB? Wonder what that means. Oh, days since outbreak. And number of walkers found. Three. That must have been a pretty good day, given this is a major city. Pretty good day. And I am definitely not going to be able to remember that. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Oh, probably not. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Paste. Just a bunch of paste. Huh. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Probably the same thing. Rug. Hopscotch. That does not look like a hopscotch. Uh... Oh, never mind. I guess it is. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Alright, let's leave. Now turn to number 14. No one can return. I didn't finish reading that. No looting. All illnesses. You know, that's the one thing I don't understand about Crawford. What's the point of having all the medicine if you're not going to use it? Crawford the leader. He ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh hail Emperor Ador uh Oberson. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, I hear you. This must be the way to the playground. Where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Hasn't been much time yet. I better let Bree and Kenny do their thing. Showcasing. They've already been fired. They're worthless. A bloody locker that we're not going to be able to open yet. here guess I'm not going that way yeah that's a poor decision wait what someone just ran across here
Looters will be shot on sight. Yeah, that seems like pretty reasonable response in the apocalypse. And this is refusing to open. Okay, don't go that way. Better not get too close. Gonna walk this way now. Apparently it's raining men now. He's mine. Nice to see you. Got it. One more. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see you hit him in the head once. Scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. How did that oh, fit in your backpack? That'll work. And danger. He might want to open the door now. Just saying. I am prepared to tap A rapidly. You know, I won't lie, I think it's a good idea to remove the jack. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Remove the jack from the door, Molly. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just yeah, you do. sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's head. wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? Nope. I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the that's damn battery he's a and southern, get out of here? He has a southern accent, a doesn't around. mean he's a hillbilly. Alright, given we're at the 100 minute mark now of me recording this, I think I'm going to end it here. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.